As I said earlier, ladies and gentlemen, in Parliament, we've already started the ball rolling, demanding that there must be transparency and there must be independence. And of course, to our minds, the best way for this to happen is to ensure that powers of prosecution do not remain in the hands of one particular individual. And this is the reason why we in Pakatan Harapan, uh, we've been consistent, we've called for the MACC to be given uh, prosecutorial powers. Uh, it really comes back down to political will. Whether or not the government of the day agrees and whether or not the government of the day want to see this happen. If there is a will, there is a way. And as far as Pakatan Harapan is concerned, when we take over, we will make sure that changes are made so that there is independence and that there is a system whereby all the institutions can cross-check each other and not one individual can make the decision uh, for everybody's uh, behalf. Um, the question about the future for the younger generation, if I may be so bold as to say it like this, you are already part of the system. Okay. I'm not that old, I'm older uh, from when I started off. Uh, but still, uh, I see the, uh, younger generation, the younger generation and I see uh, the enthusiasm. What is important is for you all to ensure that that enthusiasm is channeled in the proper direction so that we can all ensure that we have a victory which changes the government of the day. I think at the end of the day it boils down to that. I mean, Hanifa is right when he says that what we hear here is frustration. And I think everybody here is frustrated because we see the general man who stood up and said, we are sick and tired, the words he used. I think that's exactly what rings in our minds. You know, all of us know what's going on. You know, all of us know the elephant in the room, but nothing can be done. So what do we do? When we come back to the last question uh, that, that I will take, uh, which relates to uh, what happens if everything else fails? Do we have to wait for the next elections? Now, I'm divided here. My view is that at the end of the day, I think it will really come back down to the elections. Because you are not going to change uh, uh, government except through the electoral process. But of course, that doesn't mean that we do not keep up the check and balance. Courts are one of the ways we do it. Uh, let us take it one step at a time. Various issues will be dealt with through court. But as far as we are concerned, our position is that we will wait for the elections and we will fight the battle properly through the ballot box. And I think what we want is to have a government that has the support of the people. We want to be a government that was voted in by the people. And that is what is significant and I think that's the reason why to us GE14 is very, very important. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for participating uh, with us tonight in this forum.